Hi, Rodri. Hi, Brenda. Hi, teacher. Hi, Brenda. ¿Cómo siguió? Ah, uh, better. <laughs> really? Okay. That's nice. Yes. Hey. Okay. ¿Y qué le pasó? O sea, ¿por qué le dio? <laughs> Ah, era una inflamación del intestino. Todavía okay. me tienen con dieta líquida. ¿En serio? Sí, bien feo. <risa> ¿Y nunca le había pasado, Brendita? No, fíjese nunca. Bien oh, raro. Man. Pero según el doctor, le, le puede, o sea, no hay como forma de, de pronosticar que eso, que okay. uno pronostica eso. Ah, de veras. Sí. Wow. Y estuvo, estuvo varios días, o solo. Dos días, estuvo el domingo, lunes y martes salí. Ajá. Oh, chica, pero sí. Para sí. que se haya quedado ahí dos días es porque no estaba muy bien. Estaba no, bien feo. <risa> pero qué bueno que cada vez se sienta mejor. Pero ah, te, llevé la dieta bien. Ay, sí. Y no Tengo solo que... de comer, ¿verdad? Sino que también de todo lo que conlleva una dieta. Cabal. <risa> ¿Verdad? Very good. Nice. All right. Hi, Fredito. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Wow. Very nice. Hi, Manuel. Hi, teacher. Good How morning. are you today, Manuel? I'm fine. I'm an amazing day. And you? Ah, good. I'm Amazing day because today is my birthday. <laughs> oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Thank Happy you. Birthday. Yeah. So I've been eating cake all day. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. All right, guys, I, I want to apologize, but today I'm not using my computer. So I cannot turn on the uh, video, all right? So, but tomorrow I have, I will have my computer again. So uh, today I will be like the incognita. <laughs> all right, but only for today. All right, Rodrigo, pero por eso no se desaparezca, Rodri. All right. <laughs> all right, very good. Hi, Areli, how are you? Are, are. Hi. I am How are fine. You today, good. Nice to hear. All right, welcome. Hi, Nidia. Hi, Nidita. All right, very good. All right, for the girls that just got in, I was apologizing because today I'm really using my computer and the video of this one is not working properly. All right, so that's why you will not see me today, but that's okay because you already know me. All right, but only today. Tomorrow I'll have my computer back. Okay. All right, guys, so yesterday we were talking about um, like how we can organize our ideas and I gave you some samples or examples of the way we can actually do it or we can actually organize our ideas. Do you guys remember any of the ones that we presented yesterday on the PPT? Anybody? The PPT is about for the to make a or to organize idea with right. the tools. The tools, right. for example, uh, main main uh, using uh, mid maps. The mind map, yes. The mind map. Mid map, uh, the list map, or the. Or or the pyramidal mid map, right? Yes. Okay. Or 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 for you use the uh, flow chart. The flow chart, yes. Okay. Yes, right. that tool is used for to try to to organize your ideas, but right. your problem or your project or any anything. That's right. Okay. Very good. So thank you, Manuel. That was a very nice summary of what we uh, studied yesterday, all right? So uh, as Manuel was saying, hi, Robert, we were talking about, we were seeing some samples of um, methods of how we can organize our ideas. So he was mentioning the mind map, the flow chart, all right, the pyramid one, the outline method, all right? So yesterday that we saw them, just like at your, oh, like, mine right now Brenda for you which one do you think would work best from the ones that we presented yesterday on the PPT a mind map a flow chart 
uh, outline. What do you think, Brenda? I think uh, maybe outline. Yeah, an outline. Okay, very good. Yes. Why do you think that, Brenda? Um, because I think it's it's more logical for me just to start writing uh, the ideas as as I'm understanding uh, the topic okay. that we're All talking right. about. Okay, very good. All right, Nidia, what about in your case? What which method do you think would work best? I think it depends because if you have to uh, talk about something sequentially, right? You can use a flow chart. Okay. But if it is uh, like we we was talking yesterday, right? I think it's better uh, a mind map. Okay, okay, a mind map, right? Okay, very good. Okay, and in your case, um, Freddy, what do you think? I think of the mind map. A mind map, okay, Maybe. very good. Okay, Robert, in your case? Well, uh, first, good evening. Hi, hello, I'm sorry. I think that well, the one that I mostly use is always the flow charge and the mind map. Okay, very good. All right, very good. Why do you think that is so? Those two, well, it depends because in the flow chart, it helps you to organize your ideas better. Right, There's okay. Start with a principal idea, after that a sub-idea, and from the sub-idea start to organize another things that uh, influence directly on the sub-idea and consequently on the main idea. Okay. Right, makes sense. Very good. Okay. What about Areli and then Rodrigo? What do you and Manuel also? What do you guys think? Okay, uh, for me I think that it is better to use my pub because if I can look for the principal ideas on the my pub, I can get a better supporting ideas later. Okay, all right, very good. Okay, Rodri, what do you think? I think for me the best is my map because okay. I can I can see the principal ideas okay. and express complex ideas in okay. simple ideas. All right, very nice. Okay, and Manuel, did you tell me already? Yeah, you already told me, right, Manuel, or not? Manuel, did you? Um, for me, um, I usually use the flow, the flow chart. chart yeah. Because okay. It's in, in for my process. In my work. Right. Yes, of course. Okay. I get it. All right. As I said yesterday, guys, there's no right or wrong method here. It's the one that best works for you. So if you think, like in my case, for example, I'm a very visual student. So to see it like in a mind map with the bubbles and everything going and flowing around me, I think uh, it works for me better. All right, but that's how, depending on your style, depending on what you feel comfortable with and all that. So it's not about being right or wrong. It's about being comfortable with what you're doing for you to get a better response on your essay when you're writing one or your passage or a paragraph or even a story if you have to write one, all right? So yesterday I presented uh, these here. This is the one, I did not send any today because we're using the same one as yesterday. So um, when, when we began talking, give me a second here, it's this one. Um, when we began talking yesterday, I asked you to actually go to your groups and read the question and then to come up with a mind map. I don't know if you were able to do it. I know, for example, Freddie and Evelyn, I think he was working with, they didn't really make a mind map as with bubbles and everything, but that's what I wanted you guys to do. So I assigned that as homework and I don't know if you were able to do it. Were, was anybody able to finish their mind map as that drawing that we're looking at it here and you guys can share the screen and explain us a little bit what your ideas would be and your uh, supporting ideas for that main idea. <laughs> of your uh, writing process? Do you guys, like, did anybody do it? Yes, no, maybe so? Mm. Nobody? Well, I have done it. Uh-huh. 
but I think that I didn't have finished. All right. Um, but, do you but mind? I have used this one. Okay. Do you? I'm going to stop sharing, Roberto, and maybe you can like. Do you have it in your computer or you have it on paper? I have it on paper. All right. So anyway, I'm going to stop sharing, and what you can do is just kind of like. I don't know, show it to us on the on your video camera if it is if it's working. Mm, or you can't. I unfortunately I think that I can't because I have a kind of uh, all right, okay. No, that's that's fine. That's okay. A complicated right. development of the idea. But let me go ahead and start. Yeah, uh, yeah go know, ahead. For for me it would be better if you put the, the, the presentation. Sure, okay. The one with the main. Um, Since coming. I'm just about to make some. Excellent. Hold on. Some M M I, I'm just about to emphasize. Sure. Hold on. Oh my one. goodness. Yeah. Okay. So well, mm -hmm. taking in consideration the subject that has been previously provided, uh, me and my coworker have have started to think about what can be the main idea. Okay. So we have cho chosen uh, some main idea how technology have changed the opportunities for women, for, for men women? and women mm -hmm. since, for men and women uh, since 19, let's say 1950. Okay. Until, until nowadays. Okay. So that would be the main idea of our uh, essay. Uh, of your essay, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. uh, of, the, of the essay, yeah to say a little bit about it. Okay. One of the sub ideas will be that, well, first, I don't know if that can be at the right side, that mm -hmm. the women's women? actually, well, the women mm -hmm. actually have more chances okay. working management positions oh, compared okay. to, to in that years. Okay, right, makes sense. That's just like a new type of job that they can go ahead and apply. Okay. The other, uh, if we go ahead and choose the right side, the, the other option will be the, the other main idea will be, well, the sub idea mm -hmm. would be that the technology has brought a lot of new jobs that can be done equally. Okay. When I'm talking about equally, uh, it can be done as well by, uh, by women and by men. Okay. Without discriminating gender. each other. Okay. All right. Discriminating, discriminating gender. As an example, mm -hmm. it could be, uh, a computer programmer. Okay. A woman and uh, a woman and as well a man can be a computer programmers without being discriminated for for the gender. Right. Okay. Since both of them have the same capability, and talk about careers in science. Right. Both can become engineers. Right. And compared to 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 the nineteen fifty, that is not going to be just like really difficult. Right now, it's just like a little bit more accepted on the nowadays society. Right. Okay. I hear you. Mm -hmm. The other main idea would be that nowadays, women have more liberty to express herself due to the mentality change of people with the globalization. Okay. I think that that will be the other main idea mm -hmm. that has come with the changes for right about right. technology. Okay. Fair. But that's the only thing that I do have, the, the main idea and increase of ideas. Right. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So the next step, Robert, would be to like, okay, so you have your idea on the bubble, and then you would have yeah. to come up with the uh, supporting ideas for that idea. Right. For example, you can yeah. talk about, let's, if I summarize like um, glo globalization, then that's your um, topic sentence of that paragraph, and then you would have to have your supporting ideas, supporting that globalization um, topic I, the, that you had. How the born of the, well, how since the intern has born, that has, has changed. Right, yeah. I think that that, that could work, but I don't know. Right, I'm not yes, sure about it. yeah, it could. So whenever, and this is like following like what Robert's talking about, it would be like very um, good for you in a way that if you have that idea on a bubble right here, then always try to come up with four uh, supporting ideas, all right? Okay. Because the more you have, the easier it is for you to write, okay? But if you're limited to two uh, supporting ideas, 
then you might go short on um, ideas and then of course okay so try to have four little main uh, like four little uh, supporting ideas supporting that idea that is on that on each bubble you know what I'm saying guys yeah, yeah? all right okay okay so um, I mean the exercise that I wanted you guys to do was exactly what Robert did in a way because um, I mean, he was not able to finish as he, as he said it, right? But the idea is for you to make this mind map, okay? Sometimes people will ask you, for example, if you are like, if you were to study uh, like the major in English, for example, when we teach this subject, when you make your drafts for your essays, we want you as teachers or professors, we want to see this process. We want to see the mind map. All right, because then with that in hand, what we can do is like, okay, so I have your mind map here and then I'm reading and I'm like, like comparison with what you had on your mind map and what you have on your essay. So I'm saying, okay, so this was your idea of paragraph one and these were your supporting ideas of that paragraph. So where is it here on your essay? You're talking about something completely different. All right, if that would be the case, or I can say, okay, it matches whatever you have on your mind map it's here on the um essay of course it's a process we usually when we teach this course at university we usually ask for like three drafts before the final essay that means that you are like polishing your like your your work and you're changing ideas and you're changing like um supporting ideas as you go but once you hit the final draft for you to start writing your final paper, then you cannot change anything else because we're like contrasting what you have on your mind map on the final one and what you have on your essay as a result. All right, so like the processes when you actually take a class like this at university, all right? And that helps them once they hit TOEFL to actually say, oh, okay, so this is the mind map that I'm supposed to do. I know how to make one right and i know how to follow it because at the beginning they can get lost for a little bit all right do you guys have any questions about like any of these methods of course i said like you i already said it like a lot of times it depends on you which method you are going to go about doing now toffle books they will follow this one all right most of the other one like most of the times they're going to see or they're going to show you a mind map rather than a flow chart or an outline or a pyramid or any of the other ones, all right? But it doesn't mean that is the right one. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions concerning this, guys? No. No, you're okay? Yeah? All right, very good. Okay, so let's hear. Ident identifying topic and tasks. Remember that what you have to do, and it was said, oops, it was said here before this, uh, where was it? I'm sorry. It was here. It says one of the first thing that you need to do is that you need to analyze the task and organize your ideas. Okay. That's the first thing you need to do. As soon as you read the question, the essay question or the topic of the essay or whatever they want you to write about, you need to, um, analyze it, analyze the task. What do they want me to do? And after that, you organize your ideas. Okay. So here we have, uh, let me see. We have uh, three, yeah, we have three sent, um, essay questions to say, or we have like some topics. For example, for number one is, do you agree or disagree with the following statement? So what they are asking what from you? Like as soon as you read that, do you disagree with the following statement? What are they asking from you? What is one of the things that you should be doing on your, on your essay? based on that question if i ask you guys do you guys agree or disagree with the following statement what are you going to say what are you going to tell me am i asking for your opinion when i ask that question no If I ask you, for example, um, Nidia, do you agree or disagree with home office? Nidia is going to tell me 
whether she uh -huh. I agree okay right so Nidia says I agree for example Freddie would say no I disagree all right so what is that when you agree or disagree what do you what do you do uh, I agree because uh, my process we can do things at home right with the same uh, capacities right as we were at office right okay but very good mm -hmm. some people is essentially at right. office right I just can a part of the process but they conclude right okay very good thank you Nidia so when I when you see questions like do you agree or disagree what they are asking is an opinion from you okay mm -hmm. they are asking if you like you are okay with it or you're not okay with it so what are you doing you're giving an opinion at the end of the day that means that it's not right or wrong I'm not saying that if uh, Nidia agrees, I'm, I'm, I cannot tell her, oh, but you're wrong, Nidia. Or if Freddie agrees, I cannot say, uh, Freddie, you're wrong. It's really your opinion, all right? So when you see a question like that, the first thing, like we're analyzing. So within your paper, guys, you need to say that you agree or disagree. So it's somewhere in your paper or in your essay, you need to give your opinion. So that's, for, that's the first thing that you have to do, okay? Now the other one is, okay, a smoke, do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Smoking should be banned in all public places, all right? Use reasons and specific examples to support your opinion. And it says right there, your opinion. So what is the question, guys? What is the main, what should be the main thing about your paper that you're going to be writing about? What is it about? If you read a smoking should be banned in all public in all public places, what are they what are they talking or what do they want you to talk about? Give an opinion about the topic. Uh, right, which the is hmm? which is what? Which which topic is it, Fred? Uh, if it's correct, a smoking that should be banned in a public place right okay so if it's mocking should be prohibited in like in public places right so your essay is going to talk about that you cannot talk about if uh, if it's if food is delicious or if quarantine it's okay you're talking about smoking should be banned all right you need to understand what they are talking what you want what they want you to talk about on your essay giving your opinion based on reasons and specific examples. And you know what? If you really pay attention to these guys, they tell you what you have to do. First, you have to give an opinion based on a smoking should be banned or not from public places. And they tell you, give me reasons and give me specific examples. So in other words, when you're thinking about your supporting ideas, you need to give reasons as supporting ideas in trouble, and for another bubble, you need to give a specific examples. All right, so there you have like already two paragraphs that you can talk about. You see what I'm saying? So well, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna go with your groups and I want you to work on this. What's the topic of your essay? Follow the example here and what is the task? Do the same thing for number two, do the same thing for number three, all right? Then let's go on here. Let me see. Um, it says choose one of the uh, questions in exercise W7, which is the one that we just finished. What do you need to do? Okay, so this is what I want you to do. When you hit, like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. Okay, here, this is W7. You have three topics. One is mocking should be banned. The other one is compare the advantages of marrying at a young age to marrying at an older age. And the other one, a university education is necessary to access in today's world, okay? When you, go, when you finish this W7 exercise, you're gonna go to WH. And there, I want you to choose a topic. Maybe Fred is gonna talk about smoking and maybe Nidia is going to talk about advantages and disadvantages of, of getting married at a young age, all right? It doesn't necessarily, you don't necessarily need to choose the same topic just because you're working together. But what I really want you to do now is I want you to make a mind map using that. Yes? All right? And I do want to see it before the end of the class. 
if we finish and, and like the, the exercise W7 and exercise W8, I'll be more than happy, all right? If you want, then you can go on to exercise W9 because this is a process, guys. All right, this is a process of what you should be doing on real life, okay? The first thing is to choose the topic, well, to understand it, to understand the topic and to understand the task. That's the first thing you need to do. The second thing you need to do is choose a topic and then, a, and then make a mind map. The third thing you need to do is to start eliminating and crossing out ideas that you think are not important or relevant. That's why I have told you to think about more ideas. All right, the more the merrier, okay? And then we're gonna stop right there, okay? You understand what you're gonna, uh, you guys are gonna be working on? Yes, no, maybe yes. so. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm gonna send you to your groups right now. Work on W7, W8, and hopefully W9. If not, if you're not able to finish, I'm gonna sign that for homework, okay? Yes, it's for your own good. <laughs> All right, guys, so here we go. Groups are open, you may start clicking. Yeah, thank you. Rodri? Hi, Rodri, need help? Hi, Julia. Hi, Julia. Hello. Hi, do you have the PPT? I sent it yesterday on the group. Yes, I have. Okay, um, you're supposed to be working with Rodrigo, but I think he's having some trouble connecting, but you may begin by yourself. And in case okay. I see that if he's not connecting with you, I'm gonna send you to another group, okay? But you may start by yourself. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see the example. In your opinion, what's the most important char characteristic a successful student must have? Describe the characteristic and give reasons for your opinion. The topic is the most important characteristic for student success. In the task, describe characteristics and give reasons.
what state support and preferences about it. And the second one, uh, the topic was advantages of marrying young or in a young or older age. And the task is almost the same, support, state support or for our preferences. And uh, in the third one, do you agree or disagree that it, the, <laughs> we haven't talked about it? Do you agree or disagree with the following statement? A university education is necessary for success in today's world. Give, give your opinion. is a long... Grandson, I think. Grandson, yes, sorry. Grandson, thank you. The grandson is... Nine grandsons, but the family is twenty-one people. Is is the family for for that that person? But you think they come on? This is good, but it's not usually that case. <laughs> it's not usually. Yeah, but is another factor that is very important. I think is the pen of the family economy. For example, if their parent has uh, money, that yeah, in that case, they are good, right? They don't have any problem. But the problem is when the person doesn't have uh, money and they have to start uh, from the beginning. For example, they have to get a job. They have to look for a house. For example, they have to rent in a house. That means that they have at least $100 only for repaying the, 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 the rent. Yes, that is a problem. but. When you are a young man, but your fathers and try to to give the money for you start in your house, usually different different parents try to try to to give a house for when when the young son or young daughters get married and try to help for a start. Are those two ideas or one idea? Mm. This one will be two ideas. Oh. That's the reason why they, they do have arrows. Mm -hmm. This will be the third one, so. So Brenda, which topic did you choose? Um, about smoking in public places. All right, and Robert, in your case, the same? Uh, the same, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. We were both doing it. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's okay. So, the other sub idea will be. Or we can do another main idea. I mean, I'm not really going. This one that people can, that people that doesn't have a long business can develop. Find success. Uh -huh. So, your success is to be in an, an, a great multinational company being you the have to go to the university. president or something like that? Or mm -hmm. do you want to be a, a bohemian musician that travels for all the world? But, but I'm sorry, Nidia. How do you say, entonces, uh, oh, oh, oficios, oficios, como en el, como se dice, oficios? Trades or trade? I, like uh, I think we have to talk the two topics. Uh -huh. Academic education and for job and officios. Eh, eh, no, it, the, the question is, if a university the education is necessary for success in today's ah, world. Yes, but we, you are saying about that, if depends of the job. If the no, of the job. no, I don't say it depends on the job. It depends on how do you define success. Mm -hmm. Success for me, many, ta many years ago, was to travel around the world, knowing the pyramids and all the the beautiful places. Or maybe success for me was to to dance or to sing. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it was to be in a position in a company. Mm -hmm. So it's not about the occupation like that. Yes, but how what do you want what is success for you maybe i, I think if someone has a 
a very uh, intense uh, love for teaching, the success for him or her is that uh, th to teach that the children learn something specific and they um, get success even though so if the pain of the success that every 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 people wants to to have in the life if you don't have a university education you only work in uh, with well in trade or in a with, well give a service given a service but if you have a university education obviously you have more opportunity uh, to find a job and develop in a in a specific area mm -hmm. yeah and you 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 have the opportunity to uh, go climbing uh, in 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 the Mm -hmm. So, do you agree or disagree with the following statement? <laughs> oh, I, 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 I agree that, that I agree. That my opinion is I agree that we have to go to the university to get success. In my case, I think if if I if I had a uh, uh, an academic education with the titular title, and uh, maybe I would, I would gain more money, more money. All right, guys. Um, I was listening to Nidia's group, and they were they were having a very nice um conversation about what success is. <laughs> and what defines it all right very good all right guys uh and i also looked at robert and brenda they were like working on the mind map and everything and it looked very fancy so what i want you guys to do is can you like try to do a mind map with the topic that you chose for example i know brenda chose about the smoking one as well as robert all right so try to do it try to do it. i know it's gonna take a little bit of your time but let's let's do it because it's for your own good um, try to do it on the computer so tomorrow you can show it to us and kind of present it and then based on that we're going to work on the introductions all right and tomorrow's the last class guys okay so we i, I want to uh, take your time and present what you worked on like tonight all right so please try to do that i know it's going to be hard because i know you work and you're very busy people but try to do it please all right so thank you so much guys for being uh with me again all right, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. And tomorrow, no estaré de incógnita porque tendré mi compu, okay? <laughs> All right, guys, have a good night. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Bye.